Hi everyone, in this video I'll show how you can fix Grub in Fedora. If it was working before and then you get this, or if you're dual booting with Windows and it goes straight into Windows, then I'll show how you can get Grub working again. So what I'll be doing is breaking my Grub configuration to show you what will happen. Booting up my computer, I'm at the Grub menu and I have Fedora Linux and Windows installed. So I'm going to go into Fedora open up Dolphin and I'm going to go into my boot directory slash boot and there's my grub2 folder so if I go into it and authorization is required to enter this folder act as administrator yep I understand and accept the risks and then put in my password and inside the grub2 folder there's my grub configuration file and it has all of the boot entries and if I were to delete it and then restart, and this would show up. So I'm back in my grub directory. And if I were to delete everything in here, so going back to boot and then delete grub2, delete, delete permanently. And if I restart, I would also get this. And now going into the EFI directory. So this has the EFI boot files. And I'm going to go into the EFI directory again. And then so there's boot, Fedora, and Microsoft. So Fedora, if I go into it, it has all the boot files for Fedora. And if I go into the boot folder, this has EFI boot files. And these are fallback bootloaders that Fedora and Microsoft would use. But Microsoft is known for overwriting or deleting anything not related to Windows. So I'm going to go out of it. And then so if I were to delete both the Fedora and the boot directories. Delete. So I just have the Microsoft directory with the Microsoft EFI boot files, which means that if I were to reboot. We see that it goes straight into Windows. And to fix this, I'll need a Linux 5 CD. And for this video, I'm going to use the Fedora KDE desktop installation media. So now I'm going to boot from it. And it comes up, and I got the option Start Fedora KDE Desktop Live. Enter. All right, it's booted into the live environment. So to fix this, I'm going to reinstall Grub. Close the welcome window. Open up a terminal. And I'm going to sudo in. And now I'm running LVM for Linux. So I want to make sure that it's ready in the live environment. So I'm going to do a LVM version. And we see that it's there. So that's good. And then I'm going to do a VG scan. So it's going to look for volume groups. And so it's found the volume group Fedora. And I'm going to do an LV scan which is going to look for logical volumes, dev Fedora root, and it's active. And if, for example, it's not active and you need to activate it, then you can use the VG change command. So VG change dash a Y and the name of the volume group. So Fedora and it will make it active. So it's already active for me, but if I want to make it not active, so instead of Y, I'll put an N. And then I'll do an LV scan, and then it says it's inactive, and then now I'm going to make it active again. And then do an LV scan, so now it's active. So there's three directories that I'll need to make available, which is slash, slash boot, and slash boot, slash EFI. And in my setup, those are three different partitions, so I'll do an fdisk-l which will show all my disks and partitions. And I'm going to scroll up. We see my disk here. And there's dev sda1, which is my slash boot slash EFI directory, where I deleted my grub2 folder, and also as well as the EFI boot files for Fedora and the boot directories. So I'll need to mount this. And dev sda5 is the slash boot directory. And dev sda6, which is my Linux LVM, it's actually my slash 
directory or root directory. So I'm going to be mounting those three directories. So starting with the first one, which is slash or root, and it's using LVM. So it's dev fedora slash root, which we can see from doing an LV scan. LV scan, mount dev fedora root, pointing it into my mount directory, MNT. And then next, I'm going to be mounting dev SDA5, which is my slash boot directory. So I'll be going to mount boot. And then lastly, mount dev SDA1, which is the EFI partition. I'm going to be mounting it to mount boot boot EFI. Now, if you're not sure which partition is for which directory, you'll need to know at least your root partition. So then if I go into my mount directory, I do an ls, and then you should have all these directories. And then from here, you can cat your etc.fs tab file. And this will show all your file systems. And it's at the bottom there, it shows all my UUIDs. And then you can use block ID. And then it would show all of the partitions for each UUID. So for example, the first one is slash, it's ending in 0b7b. And if I do a block ID and I grab for 0b7b, and then we see it's the dev mapper Fedora root for LVM. And the next one is EF12 for slash boots. That is dev SDA5. And the last one is FC84. That is FC84 in capitals. And we see it's SDA1. I'm going to go out of this. So there's four more directories I'll have to mount so that it's available. That'll be slash dev, mounting it to mount slash dev. Next is proc. And then sys. And finally, run. And then I'm going to troot into the mount directory. And to install grub, I have to make sure that the EFI variables are available. So I'm going to mount them. Fedora uses grub2, so I'm going to do a grub2 install. Grub2 install, target x86, 64, EFI. EFI directory is slash boot slash EFI. And then the bootloader ID, the name I'm giving it is Fedora. When you hit enter, you're going to get this message here about the error. This utility should not be used for EFI platforms because it does not support EFI secure boot. If you really wish to proceed, invoke the forced option. So make sure secure boot is disabled before proceeding. So secure boot in my BIOS is already disabled. So I'm going to use the force option. And now I'm going to run OS Prober, which would look for other operating systems, in my case, Windows, to ensure that I can see it. All right, it sees it, so that's good. Now I'm going to make a new grub configuration file using grub2 make config. And then the output will be to boot grub2, grub.cfg. All right, let's create the grub configuration file and it's found the Windows Boot Manager. And now I'm going to exit out the tree root and I'm going to reboot and go into the BIOS. And in my BIOS secure boot, which was mentioned earlier, we can see it's disabled. And in my boot options, boot option number one is Windows and boot option number two is Fedora. So I'm going to fix that and put Fedora as first and save changes and exit. All right, Grub comes up and we got Fedora, we got the rescue option, and we got Windows. So I'm gonna boot into Fedora. All right, it's booted up as expected. So that's it, that's how you can fix Grub by reinstalling it in Fedora. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.